Good day. My name is Stephen Davids and in today's video I will look at how to use VLOOKUP in an array formula. Normally VLOOKUP slows down the computer and usually takes a cumbersome work around to implement. After much search I found a cool solution on Google product forums. This solution I want to document for my own reference and want to share it with you. The solution that Adam proposed is very good. However, I found some problems when I tried to just copy this solution because of the spaces as well as the semicolons. And furthermore, we also add a reference to a sheet. Now this sheet references as well as the spaces and the semicolons throw me a little bit out. Hence, hence here follows, you cannot say an improved function, more a cleaned up function or something that is more accessible to beginners. And the lookup function then basically consists of your array formula, then the normal VLOOKUP function, uh, the column that contains the lookup key, which is here, that you type in, and then uh, the range that must be looked up, which is here, from A to D, this is the longer range. And if you want to have this range, maybe in another sheet, you put the sheet reference there in front of the range, followed by a comma, and then this four indicates the column that must be looked up. You change the column here uh, to in this present moment, the column is column four. The here you see Jack and Johnny. If you change it to maybe three. see what will be looped up is namely the surname Walker, Russell, etc. We can change this a reference to maybe one or excuse me two and then it also changes the value that you will produce. Furthermore, and this is a very important aspect that Adam adds, there must be a multiple, multiple symbol, a sign, bracket, row, and then you again reference, again reference your lookup key. Again reference it in this VLOOKUP comma, and then pause, close, uh, bracket. Every time then when someone completes the form and produce a certain input in the lockup key question, then on submission of the form, then that corresponding value will be produced. Put it three, you see then corresponding value. If we change the uh, column that must be looked up, search, we search is to 3 to the surname, and you will see that everything changes accordingly on submission of. The Thank you very much for watching this video. We appreciate constructive comments. Please like this video.